Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. We have talked extensively over the last couple of weeks about Harold Perkins and how he's going to be used in this LSU defense going into 2024. Want to dive into the film of Harold Perkins and talk about a couple different ways that we think Blake Baker will use Harold Perkins in this 2024 season. I think what excites most LSU fans is Blake Baker not only a phenomenal defensive schematics guy, not only a phenomenal player developer, but I think truly what makes him one of the best defensive coordinators in the country is how he can put his best players in positions to be successful. And that's exactly what we're looking to see him do with a guy like Harold Perkins, who I think a lot of LSU fans just feel like there was a lot of meat left on the bone in terms of how Harold Perkins was used in that LSU defense in 2023 Really excited to get into this one before we do. And as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. And it truly has been a blast talking this LSU program, whether we're doing the film deep dives, whether we're covering this team on the recruiting trail. Cannot thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into this one. And I think it starts with Blake Baker coming in and kind of taking a look at what Harold Perkins did in 2023 and I think the main difference that you see on the film and the numbers back it up is they didn't have Harold Perkins around the line of scrimmage around the football nearly enough in 2023 we go back to what Harold Perkins does the best it's rushing the passer it's coming up being an athlete in space and so many times over 255 snaps to be exact Harold Perkins was playing that slot defender role not near the line of scrimmage, not being a threat in the pass rush and in the run game. And you look at Harold Perkins and what he did so well as a true freshman in that LSU defense, it was rushing the passer. It was being around the line of scrimmage. So many different ways that LSU can involve Harold Perkins. But in my mind, playing him as a slot nickel defender is certainly not one of those that is on the list. Want to talk about and kind of dive into what Harold Perkins has shown that he can do. And the first thing I want to point out is, I mean, you're truly looking at, in my mind, one of the best pass rushers, not only in the SEC, but in the country. And he only rushed the pass for, what, 160 times in 2023. That number, I mean, arguably should be almost doubled heading into 2024. When it is third and long, you want Harold Perkins pinning his ears back, getting after the passer, taking a look at some of the reps that Harold Perkins had, even in that 2023 year, which really makes me scratch my head in terms of why wasn't he rushing the passer more first and 10 last play of the second or the, the first half here. And you see Harold Perkins at the top of your screen, just really challenge tackles with the burst, the bend that he has around the edge. This is a guy that, I mean, he's going to give tackles a lot of difficulty in terms of what he can do rushing the passer. And I mean, that Arkansas game, that's probably where you saw him rush the passer the most. And I don't think it's a coincidence that Harold Perkins had his best game for LSU against the Razorbacks. Another rep here, third and 16. This is kind of the, the prototypical way I would want to see Harold Perkins used in, in, for this LSU defense in 2024, right? On the line of scrimmage, rushing off the edge. And again, you see tackles just really struggle with the burst and bend that he has around offensive linemen. Right, you've seen him cut that corner really well, get in, make a play. That's the type of stuff that when you have a, an elite pass rusher like Harold Perkins, and you kind of go back to the, the basics of what you want of an elite defense, it's stopping the run and it's getting after the passer. Harold Perkins can do both of those at a high level. Now, another way that I think you can use Harold Perkins, I thought they did a very good job using him that like that in 2022 as a true freshman was kind of that spy technique where you're letting Harold Perkins kind of be, be a little bit of a rover in the defense, be spying that quarterback. And when it is time to trigger and go get after the quarterback, that's when Harold Perkins, I think is his most successful. Cause you take a look at the closing speed that Harold Perkins has. There are not a lot of linebackers, defensive ends, players in the country period that can match what Harold Perkins does in terms of hawking ball carriers down in closing the distance, you go back to that 2022 film of, for LSU on defense and how they used Harold Perkins as kind of that spy where you're showing pressure. He's going to back off and play that spy role right here. Number 40 now changes number. And you're going to see he's going to wait for Bryce Young to break the pocket. And when he does, Harold Perkins in his ability to trigger downhill, close the distance, go find the quarterback. I mean, it's next level, right? Comes up getting a third down stop, being very impactful. Same game, Alabama 2022, very similar situation. Third and five, 
you're lining Harold Perkins up right really over that center guard here. You're showing pressure. You're going to have him end up just sitting there, be a spot, be that rover of the defense here. And then when Bryce Young tries to go extend the play, you're going to see Harold Perkins close the distance extremely well and go make a play on Bryce Young, who, again, was one of the more craftier quarterbacks in terms of making people miss. Not many players across the country can do what Harold Perkins can do at that quarterback spy role. And you look at the evolution of football with how many athletic quarterbacks there are, especially in the SEC, having a, a player like Harold Perkins that you can really rely on to be the spy of that quarterback is absolutely massive. And one of the things that I think is probably the most underrated aspect of Harold Perkins, and I think what made LSU maybe put him in that slot position a little bit more than he should have been in my mind is this is a guy that can get involved in the run game as well. You take a look at, again, that Arkansas game where I thought Harold Perkins was not only used the right way, but a guy that showed that he can be someone who's a hammer and run defense as well. First and 10, right? A lot of the reps that you saw here, Harold Perkins was split out wide away from the football, away from the line of scrimmage, not really being given the opportunity to get involved. You see the play right here. Two things that I really like. One, physical at the point of attack with this tight end, keeping his outside shoulder free. And then when it is time to make sure that running back's not getting to his outside, again, not many players that can beat Harold Perkins to the corner, to the boundary. You see him really stretch this one out, make a play for a tackle for loss, that's the type of stuff that I think Harold Perkins can do and doesn't get enough credit for doing as well. Third and three, very similar situation. Again, putting him along the line of scrimmage, getting him involved in that run game or pass rush out of third and three situation. You're going to see just kind of a basic read option from Jordan Travis. Harold Perkins coming up and absolutely sticking Jordan Travis. This is someone that I think can be a force in the run game that I don't think LSU quite recognized last year. And this is kind of highlighting why I thought Harold Perkins was used wrong last year, right? Over 255 snaps as kind of that slot defender, right? You see him kind of head up on the slot wide receiver. That is not where you want to see Harold Perkins, be, Harold Perkins being used. And that's not necessarily saying he can't do that because I thought you saw him take some massive strides in what he could do in coverage. But it's more that football is all about using your best players in the best ways possible. In my mind, Harold Perkins is the best player on this LSU defense, and that is not the best way that he can be used and certainly not the best way he can be used in terms of impacting a college football game, right? And so when you go to Harold Perkins, and I think what starts with LSU is we have to see massive strides from LSU specifically on the defensive side of the football. You bring in Blake Baker not only to fix the schematics of this defense, especially in the back end, not only to develop the young talent that he's shown he can certainly do at Missouri. I think the, one of the things that I'm most excited for in terms of Blake Baker taking this job at LSU is he has a lot of talent on the defensive side of the football, a lot of talent that can do a lot of different things. And Harold Perkins is probably the number one name on this list. And you're looking at Harold Perkins and saying, how can we get him more involved in terms of impacting the game on the defensive side of the football? Whether it's rushing the passer, whether it's being an edge defender playing the run, whether it's being an off-ball linebacker, but still being around the football, around the line of scrimmage, giving a lot of different looks to a defense. Harold Perkins showed that he can drop back in coverage. He can rush the passer. He can play that spiral. And when you have a defender – that is truly kind of a chess piece in a defense. It allows you to be extremely versatile. It allows you to be extremely multiple in terms of what looks and things you can do on the defensive side of the football. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure Harold Perkins is being used in a spot where he can go impact the game at a high level. Now, LSU, we said this. Yes, they had some injuries that kind of forced some young talent onto the field in 2023. This is a talented defense, and if it gets put together, if it gets used the right way, if the schematics go in the right direction, this is an LSU defense that I think can take some immediate strides in 2024. We all know that offense still going to be extremely dangerous. We'll continue to talk about this. We'll get a lot more answers as spring practice plays out. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas as always. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.